it is great to see you here once again on Dee's Delights. Today is Memorial Day of 2021. I'm going to make a hamburger casserole that I have not made before. Pretty simple basic ingredients, but guess what? I have them all in my house. So I'm going to use up some hamburger. I got a half a pack of noodles that I need to use up. I got some cheddar cheese back there and just a lot of things. I told you, I'm sorry, Doug. I told you I was going to record, but I just can't waste. <laughs> Come on through. It's okay. <laughs> oh, goodness. It's pretty dang on wishy washy. <laughs> okay, I'm going to keep on moving, though, Mr. Miller. You can just go back through behind the table. So I wasn't going to cook this evening, but I have decided not to waste this opportunity to show you this hamburger casserole. And one other thing I noticed this evening, and I have been making Duncan Hines. I'm trying to think if it was Duncan Hines or Betty Crocker, but anyway, I threw the uh, brownie box away. But for the first time in the history of making brownies, I realized that it said on the back of the box how to cut them. Cut it with a plastic knife, kind of like this, and none of the brownie mixture sticks to it. I don't think I've ever seen that before. I don't know if that is a new thing, Doug. Do you think it's a new thing? I doubt it's a new thing. You probably just didn't read the box close enough. <laughs> Who ever thought about having to cut brownies a certain way? Well, with a butter knife, look at this. Nothing broke off, nothing stuck to the knife. Not, I mean, did I say butter knife, plastic knife? Plastic knife, you just go like this, cut it, it doesn't stick. I was amazed. I wonder what else in life we've missed because we haven't read the directions. I know, and I'm not a man, which is normally a man thing. I usually read the directions. But I here... resemble that remark. <laughs> so anyway, I made a batch of brownies and I cut it with a plastic knife and I was quite pleased. Also, it now has little things you can add to it. You can add crushed chips or pretzels. Uh, what else did it have? Coconut. All kinds of things you can add to your brownies. So I bet you, I bet you, the plastic knife was a new addition. If not, you guys let me know. So anyway, let's get started on our hamburger casserole. For this, you're going to need six ounces of egg noodles. It says that would be about three cups dry. One pound of lean ground beef. Well, I just have regular good old ground beef. It's not lean. One small onion diced. One cup of frozen mixed vegetables. 14 ounces of pasta sauce, canned or jarred, 14 ounces of diced tomatoes, canned and drained. Salt and pepper to taste, one teaspoon oregano leaves, one half teaspoon basil leaves, one quarter teaspoon of garlic powder, and two cups of shredded cheddar. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna cook the egg noodles and I'm gonna start frying up my uh, ground beef. Let's see, so preheat oven to 375 which I got that preheated. Cook egg noodles according to package directions, drain and rinse, and brown ground beef and onion over medium high heat and drain any fat. So I'm gonna get that started. Before I add the onions, I'm gonna cook and drain my hamburger, then throw in the onions for a few moments. I have Prego for my pasta sauce. Mine's a 24 ounce, so I'll measure out about 14 ounces. Now I do have a 14.5 ounce can of diced tomatoes and I'm going to drain those. One cup frozen veggies. Okay, so next we are going to add the pasta sauce, diced tomatoes, frozen vegetables, oregano, basil, garlic powder, salt and pepper and simmer for three to four minutes. So we need two cups of cheddar shredded and we are going to need eight ounces. You would think eight ounces would only be a cup, but that's only for liquids. All right, that's about two cups there. So we're gonna add half of this mixture here. We're gonna mix it with the noodles. So I mix that around, put it in here. Make sure the noodles get down in there. We're going to top it with remaining cheese and bake for about 20 to 22 minutes. So I'm making sure my noodles get covered. I still get kind of tough and dry. Sprinkle the rest of the cheese on top. 
and I might just use the little bit that I have here, the extra, because all of you know I love my cheese. So the food is just about ready. I threw some biscuits in and today is Memorial Day and we do need to remember all of the military who are present, past, future, everyone who has made this country a safer, better place. That we do have freedoms that a lot of other countries don't have. So I do thank you all for your service. Uh, I don't know what we'd do without you. Now I'm not a big veggie fan, but I'm sure it'll be good with all of this in here. I mean, I can eat veggies. Not bad, not bad at all. Now remember, I put a little extra cheese on it. You can put as much cheese on it as you want. You can put whatever mixed vegetables you want in there. That had green beans, was it peas? And I think corn? Yeah, green beans, peas, and corn. I'd recommend it. It's good. Quick, simple, easy. I had all of these ingredients in my home. I just needed to get rid of them. It's the way to do it, folks. So I hope you have a wonderful day. I hope to see you real soon. And don't eat too much.